Hello, hello, welcome, welcome to the channel. Uh, I think for the inaugural video, I just kind of uh, wanted to go ahead and jump jump right into a review. So uh, I went to the movies yesterday and I went to go see this movie, uh, Don't Worry Darling. Um, and I personally really enjoyed the film and I couldn't help but notice that one of the main characters for the entire film was this glass right here. Um, so yeah, I'll give a close-up shot on this. But this is um, this is a Waterford um, whiskey glass, old traditional glass from the uh, Lensmore collection. And um, and I have been carrying this baby with me for like the last year to drink out of, and it certainly makes drinking um, a super special occasion. And in fact. Uh, for this video, I'll actually be partaking in a little bit of uh, whiskey. I actually just forgot. I think it's like 19 something uh, whiskey. I have a picture of it, I'm sure, in the B-roll. But, um, but yeah, I just wanted to kind of like show off what it looks like to actually drink out of it. Um, once again, kind of channeling a little bit of my dude's name. Blanking, blanking. I can't believe I forgot the dude's name, but like main character dude that was uh harry styles yeah channel channel my inner harry styles uh in this video as i drink a little bit so you know um i mean one thing i'll just kind of start off with is that i think that this thing does a really good job giving you a um a good whiff and a good nose on whatever drink you're drinking so um i've sampled a lot of things with it brandy whiskey uh vodka uh lemon cello all those kinds of things. And I really like the notes that I can pick up from this glass. Um, it's a very wide open. Now, for those of you that are like serious uh, tasters of whiskey, you're not gonna get like all the kind of parse notes. Uh, for those, I actually have a tasting uh, glass for, one, for doing that kind of thing. Um, so this is of course what you would use to kind of really pick up like all the like super, super, super detailed notes on in a whiskey. But for this one, I really think that this is a really great one for just kind of enjoying the vibes in a whiskey. Um, one of the things I just really want to note is just all the detailing on this. So it is called an old fashioned design. Um, and so part of that is just you are kind of channeling a little bit of the a little bit of the kind of heritage uh, kind of thing when you're when you're drinking out of this. And, and I just think that that just adds a lot to to the style of uh, drinking and it it takes me back you know you you put you taste this uh you do a little drinking of this along with like a record playing in the background and you're having a pretty good time um i've gotten lots of compliments on it uh, even my sister who's kind of picky about these kinds of things um she just loves it uh she likes to do questionably named uh cocktails uh prepared inside of them and um and yeah you know she enjoys it either way she actually got to, to steal a set of mine um for herself that i just had to buy for myself while i was like back home visiting her and so yeah you know i think that they are definitely a big crowd pleaser and you will not be disappointed i mean you know taking a little sip like I say, just the smell, the nose that you can kind of get from this thing is really incredible. And that, that's a little bit in combination with, you know, your choice of drink that you put inside of it. But also, I just think that uh, for this kind of a glass, I think it just does a really good job not having too much stuff going on. Like there's some glasses out there that just have a really lot, a lot going on and they, they hide the flavor, all the smells and, you know, and by nature, some of the flavor that you kind of get in your drinks. But I think that this one does a good job of being really elegant, really beautiful, classy, um, sophisticated, without kind of standing in the way of all the flavor and notes. But obviously, you're just not going to get as much as from like a snout glass. So, you know, like I say, just just drinking out of it um, just is always a really nice experience. You know, you just you feel. You just feel like that beautiful sense of elegance. And I mean, I think that there's no, you know, it's no mistake that it's just part of, I think it's part of the Elegance Collection. You can peruse the website and kind of tell for yourself. But I mean, it just, it just oozes class. I mean, I, I don't really know what, you know, I, I don't know if I really need to say much more. But, you know, you get one of these things, your guests are going to be super happy. One of the things I'll just note is that they are extremely heavy. So I'll kind of put my drink down. 
and um, and I'll just kind of just hold it without a drink in it. It is very, very heavy. Like you could kind of, you could take someone out with this kind of thing. Um, so just kind of know that about the weight of it. Uh, you might be kind of surprised at the price. I think it's like $100 right now for two of these. And so you might be kind of surprised like, whoa, you know, just for some glass, uh, you know, but it is, it is very, very stout, very heavy, a lot of high quality materials in this. Um, it is leaded crystal, so you cannot keep your drink in this all day. But, you know, if it takes you two hours to finish, you know, a drink that you pour in this, uh, something's probably wrong with you or, you know, something's wrong with the pour. You, maybe you don't like the drink, but just, just make sure that you're cleaning this thing every, like, two hours or so. And then, uh, yeah, just don't keep a drink in there all night. Um, I can't, you know, I just, I can't say enough about kind of the clarity too. If you really focus, like, you know, make sure that your hand washing these things, but if you really focus on cleaning it, uh, it just has this really shiny glistening effect. And that's kind of the nature of it being Let It Crystal. Let It Crystal can have all these fancy designs in it, but also it has like this kind of unique, beautiful color to it um, that kind of shows off when you, when you just um, shine it just in the right kind of light. Um, you know, it also kind of will make a, a different kind of noise. So I don't know if my mic will... But yeah, it just makes this beautiful ting noise, um, you know, when you're playing, when you're holding it, which like I say, just makes a really, really nice noise. And, you know, you really shouldn't do this, but if you were to clack, cling them together, notice how it just doesn't, it doesn't make like that snap kind of noise that glass might make when you, when you slam them together, but it just, it makes like a nice kind of ching noise to it. So once again, just a little bit of elegance in every every part of it. Um, like I say, I've had these for about a year now and they have held up pretty great. One of the things to kind of note is um, you want to be very careful about kind of chipping that comes in some of the packaging. Um, I ordered off of Amazon for, I think I actually ordered all of mine off of Amazon. I've ordered like six in total. Uh, I think two of them kind of came with a little bit of uh, little chinks inside of them. Um, so you want to be kind of careful, make sure you keep an eye out for that. Um, make sure that it came really, really nicely packaged. Amazon can kind of be dodgy. They actually like smashed a couple of some of my like uh, ramekins at one point. But um, but yeah, you want to be kind of careful where you order it from. I would probably order it next time just from the Waterford website, which if you're watching this video as it came out, I think that there's actually a sale right now on everything. So would highly recommend going and picking that stuff up. Um, but yeah, other than that, um, like I say, uh, just kind of to, to go over some of the detailing on here. Um, at the very bottom, you kind of notice that there's kind of a very diamondy um, detailing. So at the very bottom is a little more kind of a diamond look, like you might see kind of inset within a ring. And then on the layer above it, you kind of have this rectangular prism kind of thing, like, you know, which is almost like a pyramid that's been cut in half kind of look and, at the, and then kind of at the third layer is once again the diamond pattern that's on the bottom so you know yeah above that you just have these kind of almost tree-like ligaments that are pulling out and i i just kind of feel like those are the stars of the show they are you know sublime they're not they're not too showy but they are kind of elegant and just the nice a nice amount of detailing um to just show off show off like a very very beautiful 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 um glass and then and then from there you just get to see the clarity of the glass just kind of you know taking up the majority of the space in your glass you just get to focus on just how nice and high high how high quality and of course looking above it you can just see how thick the glass really is so this is not going to be like very fragile so i actually i have like um a glass that I drink my water out of, you know, and, and this is kind of like your typical, sorry, if, sorry if there's kind of some, you know, me drinking out of it, uh, residue, but you know, this one's like a very thin kind of, uh, glass. You can kind of see how that glass was very, very thin. Um, whereas, you know, the traditional, like this, uh, this glass is extremely thick. Like I would almost say twice as thick as like a thin wine glass. So, you know, other than that, um, and then, yeah, at the very bottom of it, you do see kind of an insignia for, uh, just, yeah, just, just says Waterford. Uh, kind of funny enough, you know, you kind of see it, 
I guess it's kind of facing when you, um, you know, as you finish your drink, you kind of are met with the Waterford uh, just uh, insignia at the very bottom of it. So if you flip your glass over and look at it, it kind of looks like it's in reverse. But, you know, that's because when you finish drinking the glass, then you're reminded that you're drinking out of a gorgeous Waterford crystal. So perhaps when your guests are kind of finishing their drinks and they're just remarking at the beauty of your glass, you know, then they know you're drinking from a Waterford crystal glass. So, um, yeah, I think that that's all I'm going to say on this. Like I say, it is a joy to drink out of. It has been an amazing investment. Um, I haven't lost any clarity in the glasses from a year of hand washing on them. Um, I cannot tell you how uh, what, how they will hold up in the dishwasher because they say don't put them in the dish. Actually, I think they are, they are dishwashable. Um, but I would not do it for anything that's like this, especially let it crystal. You don't want to do a lot of rapid, uh, temperature changes on these kinds of glasses. So you just want, you want to be very delicate with them. So, um, I, I tend to wash anything, all my alcohol glasses. <clears throat> I even wash these, um, by hand just to, even though it's very difficult, but yeah, I, I just prefer to kind of make sure that I'm doing it very delicately and making sure that everything kind of, you know, goes through a nice temperature change and, and all that stuff. And I can kind of control a lot of the variables with it. But like I say, it's very worth it because, you know, after a night of drinking out of a glass like this, once again, it just adds a little bit more elegance. And, and there is actual science behind drinking out of nicer things when you're uh it can actually enhance the experience of drinking so um especially like i know there's a lot of research on it for tea but you know apparently drinking out of like a red teacup enhances kind of some of the flavors in the tea or maybe makes it a little bit sweeter um but yeah you know i, I kind of think the exact same thing happens with your alcohol um you know some of the alcohol that you might really love might all of a sudden take on all these new flavors because you're drinking out of a glass that you're just absolutely in love with. Um, these are not the only glasses that Waterford um, has. Uh, they have a lot of different designs out there. Um, there are kind of even more, like I would even say masculine designs that I would like. I think this one kind of sits near the middle. Like, you know, I think it's a little bit more masculine, but then I still think it's really unisex. And as you see in the movie, like women will drink out of out of it like nothing and it's just no problem but um but yeah i i think that it's like the perfect amount of kind of elegant and masculine for me um and just kind of like what i what i kind of represent and maybe one day i'll show you all kind of like what my entire bar cart looks like um but yeah i think that this this does a really really nice balance between once again just the refined gentleman kind of aesthetic that i really go for um but you know refined but like not stuck up so you know there's like i say there's modern twists it's it's traditional but then there's a lot of modern twist uh, added inside of it so it's not it's not necessarily what your granddad would be drinking out of so like i say i would highly recommend it super super fun drinking out of it and um yeah you know uh, i guess yeah let me know if you have any other questions but yeah, that'll be the end of this video. I'll catch you later.